When a 96-year-old woman sold her home, real estate agents were stunned by what they found inside. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Selling a home takes patience and determination, and for some realtors, certain properties can be almost impossible to sell. When taking on a new client, there's always a gamble. The home could sell swiftly, or you could end up stuck with a money pit that never goes anywhere. When sisters and realtors Gladys and Carla Spaziri were contacted by a 96-year-old woman looking to sell her home, they expected the worst. She had lived there for over 72 years, and something seemed quite off about the woman's call. However, they decided to check the place out regardless. Preparing for the worst, Gladys and Carla entered the home thinking they were in for a tough sell, but what they found inside was absolutely shocking. What did this elderly woman have to hide? You won't believe this story. For real estate agents Gladys and Carla, it was just a normal day at the office. They were busy checking on their listings, planning showings, and touching base with their current clients. The sisters had become a dynamic duo in the real estate world after joining forces in 2009, putting the local agents to shame with their ability to sell practically anything. However, they were about to get a call that would test their limits. That afternoon, the sisters received a call from an elderly woman looking to sell her house. They went over the basics of their usual agreement with clients and tried to get more information from the woman who went by the name of Joyce. Unfortunately, this was far from an ordinary call. Gladys immediately noticed that there was something strange about the woman's voice and demeanor on the phone. She wouldn't answer questions directly and seemed far from enthusiastic in terms of selling. In fact, she almost seemed reluctant. The sisters soon began to suspect she was hiding something from them. Every time they asked for details on the home, Joyce would dodge the question or give roundabout answers. Immediately, they began to wonder if she was some sort of hoarder or if the home was in a horrible state of disrepair. Despite their misgivings, Gladys and Carla knew they could sell ice to an Eskimo. So what if the house was in bad shape? They never had backed away from a challenge. It was then they learned something fascinating about their caller. Joyce revealed that she had just turned 96 years old and had lived in her home for over 72 years. No wonder she sounded reluctant to sell it. However, the sisters agreed to set an appointment to come look at the property, believing they could definitely help the elderly woman. Later, the sisters discovered that the home had not been touched in terms of repairs for the last 70 years, except for a minor kitchen remodel to bring it up to modern standards. This led Gladys and Carla to fear the worst. Who knew what state the home was in? Could the old woman have possibly been able to maintain it all those years at her advanced age? As the date of Gladys and Carla's appointment to view the house drew closer, they began to worry. They didn't know how clean the home would look when they arrived, and they feared it could be filled with junk that was collected over the many years Joyce had lived there. However, they had agreed to sell the place, so now they would need to make the best of the situation. One upside to the situation was the property was located in a very nice neighborhood in Toronto. The real estate prices had been soaring in the area, so even if the inside was a mess, they could possibly still turn a very nice profit. When the sisters first arrived at the home to view the property, they were a bit underwhelmed. While the neighborhood may have been up and coming, the home itself was quite plain. They might be able to get an average amount for it, but only if the inside was in excellent condition. Slowly, Gladys and Carla approached the front door. They honestly were fearful of what they might find inside. Did they even want to go in? Could it be laden with mold and plumbing issues? Despite their trepidation, the women decided to remain professional and take a peek in the home. You won't believe what they found. At first, the sisters couldn't believe their eyes. The home was gorgeous. The interior in no way matched the exterior. It was almost uncanny how beautiful the home was on the inside. Could they have walked into the wrong property by mistake? The home seemed almost too good to be true. Like the sisters had walked into the set of a film, it was far from the dump they'd imagined it would be. 
In fact, they were beginning to think they had secured a possible gold mine. The colors were the biggest standout in the home. From gorgeous greens to blushing pinks, every room was vibrant and alive. Isn't it just spectacular? What was most incredible about the house was how every single room was different. The color, the art, and furnishings all represented a different style. It made the home very unique, and Carla and Gladys believed this would be a big draw for potential buyers. Each room was like a time capsule, filled with items from varying decades. As the sisters explored the home, they continued to find more to love. Unfortunately, there was one small problem. The only negative the sisters could come up with in terms of the home was how feminine it was. The colors were not neutral and almost reminded them of a dollhouse. However, the immaculate detail in the home could help a potential buyer overlook the colors. Despite the feminine decor, one of the best rooms in the house happened to be the basement. It was like being transported onto the set of Mad Men, complete with a wet bar, wood paneling, and vintage 70s deco. The room was certainly a standout and one the realtors felt would be a great selling point. Gladys did admit she was concerned the backyard would prove to be an issue due to its small size and lack of landscaping. However, Carla believed the uniqueness of the home's interior would be the biggest selling point. Regardless of the plain exterior, the sisters were determined to sell the home. However, they had to overcome one more hurdle that could make or break the potential listing. Despite Joyce taking care of the place and the beautiful decor, Gladys and Carla knew never to trust the naked eye. The home could look perfect, but hiding a host of unseen problems like mold, water damage, and a cracked foundation, the house would have to be inspected from top to bottom before they listed it. Thankfully, despite being a very old home, Joyce had kept it in immaculate condition. The inspectors were very thorough and concluded that the house was up to code. It was perfect. To say Carla and Gladys were stunned would be an understatement. After the inspection, Carla and Gladys listed the home for sale for over $700,000. Immediately, a bidding war began for the property with potential homeowners going wild over the interior of the home. Everyone who saw it just had to have it. Many of the people who visited the home felt it seemed more like a museum than a place to live in since it all seemed untouched by time. However, Joyce did admit to upgrading the kitchen back in the 1960s. So, with such a beautiful home, why did Joyce want to sell it? Well, according to her, the management of the two-story home was just too much for her and she wanted to move into a retirement community. The one thing Joyce did want to mention was that the home didn't come with the furniture. Her daughter had called dibs on all of that long before she decided to sell. Therefore, the new owners might want to rethink the interior decor since it won't be as vintage in appearance once cleared out. If there's one lesson that Carla and Gladys learned from Joyce and her home, it was that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. While the home may have looked plain from the outside, the interior was a diamond in the rough. We hope the new owners treasure it as much as Joyce did.